Jose Maria Ochoa. I'm from Mexico, but I was born in, in the United States, in Georgia, in Atlanta. I, I'm, in, I'm in Pittsburgh because I felt really attracted to come here. It was the people that I met and the feeling that I had from them, and I just kind of followed that feeling. I started playing music with them. They kind of took me under their wing, and it really helped me to be who I am now. I found so much warmth in Pittsburgh and so, mu so much kindness and openness to just people and to treat each other nicely and decently. Where I'm from in Mexico City, the neighborhood is called Pantitlan. It's a place where a lot of people come through to commute. I spent my childhood there and I grew up playing with my cousins. I really appreciate that I was able to experience being a kid in Mexico and growing with what I grew up with my family around. When I left, I was 19, and I keep coming back as an adult, and it's different, because like every time I come back, it's a different place, or I'm a different person. I mean, I'm an American citizen. I know the privilege that I have compared to the people where I come from. It means that I have a paper that says that I'm allowed to come here without having to cross the desert or a river or fearing being deported. I think the main struggle to be here and be who I am is to try to exist in a system that doesn't believe in what I live for. People tend to underestimate human interaction, human warmth, just beauty in life and they just work, work, work and sometimes it can be really um, materialistic oriented. Empathy and that human interconnectedness is really crucial for bringing justice. I work at Casa San Jose. This is a nonprofit organization that started in Pittsburgh. The mission of the organization is to help Latino immigrants to make them feel welcome and translating that into actions, really, really solid actions. I coordinate the cultural activities, sport activities, any kind of thing that I can bring to them to serve their development. The reason why I do that is because I, in a way, was in their place of coming to a new place and redefining yourself and knowing who you were and who you are. Who will you be? There's a lot of identities that get lost or washed, washed away, maybe. But maybe that's what I feel because that's what I felt like it was happening to me. I feel like sometimes like, we are a little farther away from true nature. Like, I'm not saying that I want to go back to like hunting for my food every day, but there's some kind of disconnection that kind of happens. And I think it's really important that there has been people bringing their whole visions of life here. And I think it's really important that it keeps happening, not just for the country, for in a bigger, broader sense for humanity, because we don't function as one isolated being. And for the people who might not like immigration and might see it as a bad thing, I think something that's pretty important for them to know who they are and to recognize humanity in some outside of them and that goes past the, the color of the skin that people, no matter who you are, you have to eat. You have to raise a family. You have this, that we have the same right to exist as them. And that's kind of the bottom line. I grew up skating. I've been skating for like 10 years. I used to do that in Mexico and it helped me immensely to adapt here and to speak the language. Because that, that was my only shot that I had speaking English. When I came to, the, to this country and I was living by myself, I felt like I wanted a creative outlet or something. I play accordion a lot now. It's really close to my heart. It's in a lot of music. It's a, it's a lot of Mexican music, even though it's like different kind of accordion. It feels like the perfect immigrant instrument too. And with this marching band, I started playing clarinet, but then I learned how to play a tuba. And playing music with the marching band, it felt like activism in a way. And I got to know the people who are behind trying to make this city a better place. That's how I met people from Casa San Jose. That's how I got home. I feel like a pretty special way to find them through music. Since I was growing up, 
I knew that I had the opportunity to leave the country because uh, I was born in this country, in the US. I did it when I was 19 and I came to this whole different place. But there's uh, another reason why I don't live in Mexico and I live here is because uh, there was something that happened to my family. Uh, my, my, my father's life was taken when he, like 11 years ago. He was working for the government. And, and it's not like I feared for my life and I had to run away. My family is still living there and they live normal lives. But just seeing that, just wanting to explore a different, seeing how far could I go somewhere else. And there's, there, there's a little, maybe a little guilt of leaving my people behind. But also at the same time, I'm not leaving them behind. I, I'm carrying them with me. Uh, see how far can we get. I have two younger brothers and I've shared more with my brother that's in the middle because he's a citizen, he's able to come here and he has a little more freedom. But my youngest brother, he's not a citizen. And he just got his visa denied and he's growing up without me in his life and I'm growing up without him in my life. And it's, I don't, it's just really, it's, it's sad. Something that I feel like I learned from this change is more than everything, empathy for knowing the privilege that I had to come here and seeing the lives of people who come here and the things that they have to face. Within the immigration uh, bubble, there's so much diversity uh, and so, much ways, so many ways that people adapt here and so many backgrounds that they come from. There's not just one kind of immigrant and not all of them come from the same place. That just like shows me how diverse the immigrant experience can be and how we're not all here to do the same thing. Si yo pudiera decirle algo a los latinos que van llegando a este país y van empezando una nueva vida, que no no dejen como que la luz de este que no dejen que su luz se se apague, que la mantengan que la mantengan prendida aunque sea en bajito, pero que la mantengan ahí porque Es todo un mundo que, que viene como, en, no en tu contra exactamente, pero un, un mundo bien diferente que vas a enfrentar. Y que si no, si no estás este, si no estás fuerte dentro de ti, te puede derrumbar y te puedes perder aquí como se pierde la gente. I don't know exactly what my relatives and family think about me living here. Like I talk to some of them really often, my, my close family. Some of them know what's happening and they, I just feel like I'm just in my journey and, and they're aware of it. And when I go back and see them, they, they kind of know what's, I kind of update them and I feel supported by that. And I feel like no matter when I go back, like their heart's gonna be open for me.